Very warm welcome and thank you so much for thank coming you. to the to the Teddy Awards and bringing this film to the Teddy Awards, of course, too. Thank you very much. Thank um, you for inviting me. So you, you where, where did you shoot the film? Uh, we shot the film in Brandenburg, which is the location, the area around Berlin, in a, in a friend's house, a huge um, cottage full with Baroque furniture and all kinds of amazing objects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Naja, zumindest es hat ja funktioniert, dass wir alle, wirklich alle, da waren. Wir haben es wirklich geschafft alle zusammen dahin zu kommen. Das fand ich ja schon mal ganz gut. Aber der Anlass war ja jetzt nicht irgendeiner, sondern wir haben uns getroffen, um an Franz zu denken und vielleicht auch mal was zu verarbeiten und das mal an uns ranzulassen. Aber daran sind wir, glaube ich, gescheitert. Weil wir es nicht geschafft haben, uns zu öffnen, uns Ich glaube, das war ein Winter oder so ein, der Winter, bevor der letzte Winter, den wir zusammen erlebt haben. Da sind wir zusammen spazieren gegangen, ja, hier in Berlin am Fluss entlang und die ganze Stadt war vereist. Man konnte so sagt man, schlittern auf dem Eis. Und dann kamen wir eine große Straße und äh, äh, es war, war so Rush Hour, unglaublich viel Verkehr und wir kamen und kamen nicht rüber über die Straße. Und irgendwann war eine ganz kleine Lücke und dann hat er mich ganz fest an der Hand gepackt und wir sind über die Straße gerannt. Und das war eigentlich auch schon alles. Aber das war irgendwie schön. Das war so... Äh, ich habe mich gefühlt wie zwölf Jahre und so fest in seiner Hand. Das hat irgendwie gut getan, dass er jemand so an der Hand fasst und über die Straße bringt. And I think what's very particular about your film is that you you come from a documentary background also, right? Yeah, you, also. You, you, you've done, done a documentary movies. too. Yeah. And um, how and how far do you think this influenced this particular project? Oh, very much. I th I think fiction is. Uh, Another kind of documentary as well. I mean, when you when actors are acting, the, they're not just pretending something; they are something. And mm -hmm. if, uh, a fiction film documents their acting or documents their being. So, documentary fiction very very close to each other. This specific project we used observation a lot um, and improvisation to create a feeling of truthfulness. So, I think it's it's a very good mix of documentary elements and fiction elements if you want to. I mean. and how much do you discuss with actors beforehand? Um, what kind of dis discussions, conversations are going on? All kinds of conversations about the subject, about the, the roles, about the relationships, um, about the circumstances, about the time, the place. I mean, yeah, we talk about everything. I, I really believe in actors and I have very big respect for their work and I try to give them as much freedom as possible. So if they are going to use this freedom, they have to know a lot of stuff, they have to know their boundaries, they have to know the place they are so they can act freely and be truthful. Mm -hmm. And for this story, where does your inspiration come from? Is it... Uh no, it's not a personal experience. Um, it's, so, it's a memory. Um, it, the film talks a lot about um, the idea of, of suicide and when you're young, when you're in your 20s or even younger, when you're in a teenager uh, age, um, one often thinks of, of killing themselves, you know, in every heartbreak and every, um, um, every difficult moment, you think, oh, why don't I just kill myself, <laughs> you know? And it's all about me and how is the world going to react? How are my friends going, what are my friends going to think? And who am I for them? And do they love me? And then when you have all these thoughts, then hopefully you say, oh, well, I don't need to kill myself because I'm going to cry. And so it comes out of a place that I know. I uh, suicide death in interests me mm -hmm. just a lot. Mm -hmm. So how does this 
death and suicide and the fact no. that someone has committed suicide in yeah. your particular story yeah. influence those characters? A lot. They go to this place to commemorate, they go to this place to think of their loss, uh, to, to deal with their loss, to think of their lost friend. And it's very difficult for them, they cannot understand it, because who can understand death? I mean, it's a very difficult thing. And uh, what they do is they just, they fall in love with each other, they, they sleep with each other, they kiss each other, looking for warmth and um, love, one can say. So they, they, they indulge in their sexuality and in drugs and in alcohol, so they can be, they can forget uh, that they're gonna die. It's, it's, the first, it's the first confrontation with the reality of death and it's very tough and I completely understand uh, that uh, for a lot of people the only remedy against it is just having sex or uh, uh, being numb and uh, drink a lot of alcohol and just live in excess. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the film is also about. So how <coughs> long did you shoot? In the, in, in the country. Very sites. short, very short. We had uh, we shot for two weeks. It was all improvised. We didn't have a script. We just had this idea, and we discussed a bit about uh, the relationships of the people and who these people are, and we just shot and shot and shot for two weeks. I don't know. We worked for twenty hours a day, I guess, or something like wow. that. It was very tough, but it was fun. It was really great fun. Mm, so how do you, especially with with such a project, how do you work in the editing room? You know, when you have all this material, you don't really yeah. have a script. There's not a structure yet, probably. Yeah. Uh, how do you? Maybe you can talk about this process. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a long, long process. Yes. It took me two years to edit this film uh, because we shot again and we shot the interview, uh, interviews and stuff. And uh, basically, you write the script or you try to combine associatively the elements that makes will make a, fi a film out of it. In the editing room, it takes forever. We didn't shoot a lot, we didn't shoot a lot of material, we tried a lot of stuff, but we shot a little bit more than that the, than the film contains, but um, um, it's, it's a long process, I mean you have to try a lot and a lot of different versions of the film to see what works best, mm. which is the final version, mm. so it's like a battlefield. <laughs> So, but how did the structure evolve? Was it throughout the two years, or did you you just view the material and then you already have a rough idea, or like? Um, we were editing while we were shooting. Actually, we shot something somewhere in the middle, and then we woke up in the next morning all together and looked at it and said, "So, wh how does it go on?" So, we shot stuff that bring the the story forward, but we also shot a little bit uh, of the what happened before. I mean, it all evolves around the shooting. We edited while we were shooting, mm -hmm. and then I re-edited I re again and again and again and again after I left, mm -hmm. after we stopped shooting. Mm -hmm. So how, has the crew seen the film already? They probably have seen the film already. Yes, they have. So they how have. did they... How did they, you know, I don't know if you can, could realize or see how they feel about this finished... Well, it's very, piece. very difficult for any actor to see themselves up there. These people are very young. Uh, it's, uh, in, they're in their 20s. Well, not very young, but they're young. And they are uh, uh, beginning their career right now. They're young actors and actresses. So it's tough for them to see the film. But they, they, I think they loved it. I think they were very proud of themselves and very proud of the whole project. Because when we started, we didn't really set out to make a film. We set out to, to experiment, to have fun, to um, act freely, stuff like that. And then it came out to be a film. So we're like, okay, wow, great. Mm -hmm. And how about the audience? Oh, the audience. The audience, was at the be we just had uh, one screening. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a very tough screening. It was um, the half the audience loved the film and half the audience hated the film. I don't know if it's half half or more, whatever. But it was not um, an anonymous. Hey, great, fantastic! Mm -hmm. It really split the audience into, which I can un completely understand because mm -hmm. it's a film that is very silent, has very little dialogue, has a lot of people. Uh, uh, um, singing and dancing and kissing, so somebody can say, well, what is this about? I don't get it. There's a lot of atmosphere, so if you don't let yourself go with the atmosphere, then I guess it doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. I understand. What were the critical points? You already mentioned some, but what, was, what were the points that, you, you know, where you felt this was kind of uh, hated, in a way, by the audience? Um, I think there's, uh, some people cannot, some people will refuse to see that uh, 
a lot of people are not able to be sad or to express emotions. And when you're confronted with, the rea with this reality, especially here in Germany, when you're confronted with the reality of emotional cold or distance, then I think it somehow concerns you. And if you can't abstract and take distance from yourself, then you kind of feel in, um, insulted, I guess. Mm -hmm. You kind of feel, well, what is this about? Why is nobody being sad the proper way? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I see a lot of people uh, that are not being sad the proper way or cannot even feel anything. So, it touches, I think, it touches a, um, a soft spot in a lot of fun. people. But, to be honest, if it makes people angry, that's also great. Of course, yeah. Because this, it's an emotion. <laughs> what I would hate it is if people came out and said, well, lovely, what's next, what's, what's for dinner? Mm -hmm. But if they go out and say, this film is terrible, we hate it, that's good. That's mm -hmm. a good reaction to have. Mm -hmm. It's emotional. What questions came up from the audience? Um, what questions? Yeah, well, uh, all the practical stuff, how we shot it, how, how did we manage to make these people be so free? Because a lot of people think it is a documentary and they say, well, how is it that they feel so active, act so freely in front of the camera? What were the conditions? How did you do it? Um, uh, stuff like that about the document, about the interviews. Why did I use interviews and what, what do they mean? Did I mean to confuse people or do I mean to clarify something? If, if this person really existed, if we all had a common dead friend uh, that we put in the center and said this is him or because when they when they when the when the characters talk about this dead person they all have a completely different view they're talking mm -hmm. about somebody completely different which is great which mm -hmm. i encouraged mm -hmm. as well so uh stuff like that mm -hmm. And you just mentioned that um, sometimes, you know, I mean, of course, there's not only a German audience because it's an international festival. Yeah, absolutely. But that uh, it might have been a little bit difficult for some Germans to accept this cold or something. Yeah. And I was wondering what reasons that could have, cultural reasons or something. Yeah. Well, like I said, I mean, if you, there's, um, it has to do with age, it has to do with self-reflection, it has yeah. to do with... Because um, these people in the film, they're not necessarily all lovely, charming, lovable kids. Mm -hmm. They are, some of them are lost, some of them are cold, some of them cannot express anything, some of them are just frustrated. It's not a film where you feel, oh, these poor people, they're so sad and they really love this person. So you go with them, you empathize. Mm -hmm. You can kind of go, well, I don't really like them. They're narcissistic and they are mm -hmm. overdramatic and they are mm -hmm. uh, just being stupid, which is what we all are when we were very, very young. You know, the world evolves around us. We do overdramatized stuff and uh, uh, it's not specific German, uh, it's not something, something that's specific German, but it's something that we don't really like seeing a lot of times. Mm -hmm. We want to idolize and um, idealize the youth and um, being young. And but that's good, isn't it, in a way too? It is, <laughs> it is, it's great. It's great when you're young, when you're older, you can see it with a bit of a distance. Um, not so young anymore, so I can, I can take a look, a critical look, I guess. So, and yeah, I can still what enjoy is, it, what I is still the love critical it. Look about, like, what, if you said you've, you know, you've experienced it yourself personally, of course, this you know, yeah. maybe change in perspective, how yeah. is that? Yeah, well, well when, you're young, when I was young, I was very, very dramatic. I would think, you know, uh, somebody would leave me, I would have a, a heartbreak and I would say, I'll go, I, I, life has no meaning anymore, this, is gone. this was the first and only love and I will have to kill myself now. So stuff like that, which seems stupid now when you watch it, you say, okay, come on, give me a break. <laughs> uh, you can forget everybody, you can do anything you want. But in the moment, you feel it's very important. And of course, for the rest of the world, it's quite annoying <laughs> when you kind of overdramatize. Say, I'll take a walk in the woods and you know see if anybody's watching. If I'm being dramatic or something. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, so what did? How did this project influence maybe your future work? Or you know, what did you take out of it yeah. that, that you will? We tested a lot of stuff, my cameraman Johannes Louis and I, we tested a lot of stuff, how we can use the camera, what kind of freedom we will allow actors to have and still have um, a very specific aesthetic. Because the film is improvised, when you watch an improvised film, most of the times people run around with a camera trying to get every, every possible thing. And we said, we, we're going to go, we're going to do something completely different. We're going to have the camera still, have want to have a very elegant look to the film. We wanted to have a very specific uh, compositional mm -hmm. attached to it, but still um, have actors be free and, and truthful. So this is something I experienced there. I tried it, I saw it work, and I'll take it to my next film, the aesthetic. Mm 
mm -hmm. the way of working with actors mm -hmm. and the way of combining the camera with this kind of acting. Mm -hmm. So what is this next project? What might it be about? Oh, this, it's a project, I, it's, it's going to be shot in the summer. Um, it's, a fi it's financed from German television and we're shooting a film in Greece in the summer. Mm -hmm. And it's about uh, personal relationships and work relationships. How is it working and living at the same place? How is it being someone's housekeeper and be family as well and what happens when you get sick what happens when um, you're not able to work anymore it's it sounds like a social drama but it's going to be a melodrama a melodrama a melodramatic okay. voice what else <laughs> great uh, thank you very much you're I very really welcome appreciate thank your you. visit thank you. and have a great time at the festival thank you for inviting me thank, thank you, you.